and welcome to your first beginner's kettlebell warrior workout. Okay, it's very exciting. So today I'm going to be going through the fundamental move of kettlebell training, which is the kettlebell swing. Okay, and then we're going to do a series of videos. In each clip, we're going to be adding on a new move with a workout at the end. Okay, so by the time that all of those workouts have been completed, we're going to be fully fledged kettlebell warriors ready to go and we'll be able to increase on our complexes and we'll be able to increase our weights pretty quickly. Okay, so for today's workout, what you will need is a kettlebell, obviously. So for ladies, probably around a 12 kilogram, gents, probably around a 16 kilogram, depending on your size, so that could change, but really we need at least that sort of weight to be working against. Kettlebell training works the whole of the body, the whole of the posterior chain and the big muscles in the body get really, really good workout from kettlebell training, particularly with the swing. So we need a certain amount of weight to work against. So if you've got these four, six kilogram kettlebells at home, you probably want to put them aside and get yourself something a little bit more solid, okay? So we need a kettlebell. You might want to get yourselves a mat because we've got a little bit of floor work and you will need a timer or a stopwatch um, or a clock nearby, okay? Make sure you've got yourself a nice clear space for you to be swinging the bell. We're gonna be swinging it at arm's length so you don't wanna be doing this kettlebell training near any flat screen TVs or children or anything, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna break the swing down into three main parts. It's quite technical move, but it's easy to pick up. And once you've got the swing, then all of the other moves will follow pretty easily. Okay, so first things first, hip hinge, okay? The swing is a hip hinge move. It's driven by the hips. A lot of people go wrong when they're swinging a kettlebell because they'll start to squat and they'll bend their knees too much. We're used to squatting quite a lot in everyday life because we sit down a lot, okay? Which weakens our hamstrings. So the swing can help us switch them back on, make your hamstrings solid, okay? You get a great workout from this. So hip hinge. You can use your hands to figure out where your hips are. You probably know already. But just to give you a little bit of a visual cue, you can um, use your hands just to pop them into your hips, visually to push your hips back, okay? So you can see with Ash here, he's pushing his hips to the back of the room, and then he's going to move them forward back into what we would call a plank. So you need to remember that that upright position is known as the plank, because we're going to come on to that later. So let's practice at home 10 fast, solid hip hinges. So from the front, we're going to push our hips back and we're going to push our weight behind us. At this position, we're going to feel our hamstrings kicking in. Your hamstrings are going to feel like a loaded elastic band, okay? So if you're not getting that stretch, you know you might need to sit into the heels a little bit more or bend your knees less, okay? So that's one coming up, power plank at the top. Two, push those hips back chest down to the ground and come up. Let's go to three. Excellent, push back and up, four. So you'll see with Ash that his hamstrings are loaded. You can actually see them firing as he comes up into that plank position. So we've got four to go, so keep going at home. Excellent, three, two, beautiful, and last one. Push back, push back, push back, and power up. Okay, and relax there. Okay, if you are struggling with that movement, then you can put yourself a few steps away from a wall at home, and you can push your hips back until your bottom or your glutes touch that wall, just to give yourself another cue as to where your hips should be sitting. Okay, so try, keep practicing that hip hinge, and we're gonna move on now to the deadlift, which is the second part of the kettlebell swing. Okay, so you need to get yourself your kettlebell. If you're particularly tall or you've got really long legs, something I'm definitely not blessed with, uh, then you may need to raise your kettlebell up onto a step or a plinth somewhere, maybe the bottom of your stairs, just so that you're not bending down too low to, the, to a small kettlebell down on the ground. So your deadlift, your kettlebell is gonna be placed 
in between or slightly behind your feet, but not in front, okay? So we're gonna have our feet roughly hip distance apart and we're gonna remember that hip hinge movement. So the hips are going back, firing back, the hamstrings are loaded. We're gonna reach down towards our bell, but we're gonna make sure that these shoulders are not coming forward. So we're gonna switch them into the socket and we're gonna drive and lift that belt up all the way to a power plank at the top. So your power plank is this upright, strong position. We're gonna move on to that later. Let's deadlift again. Okay, let's push those hips back, all the way down to the ground, load the hamstrings and up to the top. Let's make it a little bit quicker. So down, pull up. Squeeze those glutes to the top. Down, pull up. Let's go to 10, this is five. Push and lift, well done. We'll go for five more, push and lift. So keep pushing those hips back, keep squeezing the glutes as you get into that upright position. Excellent, Ash, we've got a couple more to go. And one more, keep going at home. And that's 10. Awesome, well done. Okay, so that's your deadlift. Lifting the bell up into the hip hinge. So your final cue on the swing is gonna be this power plank that I keep talking about. Your power plank is the top of the swing. So the top of the deadlift, the top of the hip hinge, and the top of the swing. So at the top of the swing, our body is gonna be plank-like. That's what you need to remember. So planks, solid, stiff pieces of wood, yeah? So we need to think glutes switched on, activated. So if you need to, you can hit yourself in your bottom and make sure those glutes are switched on. Quads, solid, yeah? So tap yourselves, make sure activated. Hamstrings switched on, calves switched on. Even our abs are gonna be packed. So I don't want you to think about drawing in your stomach too much. I want you to think about pulling in and lifting up, bracing yourself almost ready for a punch, okay? So everything is solid in this plank position. So we're gonna practice this down on your ground. So you need to get yourselves your mat. And Ash is gonna be going into what we would call a 10 breath or a 10 count power plank. So you can watch him first and then replicate this at home. Okay, so you can see that he's pushing into the mat. Everything is tense, he's absolutely solid in this plank position. No one's gonna push him over. And that position there is what's gonna help control your swing. Okay, so now have a go at home and let's go for 10 breaths, okay? So keep the breath short, solid, strong. Keep your abs switched on. And remember to squeeze, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, last three, last two and last one well done okay so you can stand up just shake yourselves nice and loose in between these exercises so we want to get into this principle of relaxation as well in between the tension yeah so if you're walking around tense and fired up the whole time you're going to exhaust yourself very quickly so we need to know when to switch this on and switch it off Okay, so we're gonna go back down onto our mats now and do a power plank together. So again, think about this time visually pushing the ground away from you. So hands underneath the shoulders and Ash is pushing into that mat. Switching on here, he's solid, he's tense. So keep squeezing these glutes. Last five seconds, four, three, keep going, two, and relax it there, well done. Okay. Have a breather. Come up to standing, just shake yourself through, and we're gonna put those movements together for the kettlebell swing. Okay, so you set up for the kettlebell swing. I want you to think about a tripod or a triangle with the head of the triangle being the kettlebell, okay? So we're gonna be so far behind that kettlebell that when we do our hip hinge movement that we did before, so if you push your hips back, join us at home, that we can feel this pull on the hamstrings and we're gonna use that kettlebell to try and aid us to get that pull on the hamstrings and sit back into it, okay? So we're gonna tilt the bell a little bit. So our kettlebell swing, if you want to watch at home, Ash and I are gonna perform five swings. It looks like this.
and relax it there. Okay, so it's quite a strong, powerful move if performed correctly. At the top of that swing, you will have noticed lock out in the plank position. We were pulling the bell backwards and behind us, almost like we were firing it in between our legs to the back of the room. We were then powering it up with our hips, stopping it at shoulder height with the help of that power plank, activating the glutes. So Ash is gonna go again for another five reps. Join in when you can. Hip hinge back, loaded the hamstrings, elastic band, ready to fire. And this bell is coming just up to shoulder height, no higher. Excellent. Okay, and relax at home. If you find this bell is flying up above your shoulders, increase the weight, okay? So just a bit of a sign that your, your bell's too light. Okay, we're gonna do one final round, set of five, and then I'm gonna introduce a single arm swing. So right now we're working with two hands, it's a double-handed swing, okay? So we're holding onto that bell with both hands. Let's go for another five. So join us at home, hip hinge back, load the hamstrings, by the bell, behind and up. Excellent, three, four and five. Well done and relax. Shake it out, let's have a breather. Okay, well done. So we've got that double-handed swing locked down. If you need to, rewind the clip and go back through it again because it's really important that you get this side of it right. If you're feeling too much like the swing is loading your lower back and you're pushing your hips forward, let's try and work on glutes a little bit more. So switch your glutes on, maybe power plank just before you do your swings, okay? So we're gonna go into a single arm swing everything stays the same. So the hips stay facing forward, the hamstrings are loaded, the hips go back to the rear of the room. The only difference is we're holding the bell with one hand. Now your opposite hand can rhythm where it, the bell is going, okay? So we're gonna go for five reps on one side. So if you want to watch first or join in at home, are we ready? Off you go. And fifth, place the bell down. Excellent. Okay, so that was a right loaded hamstring. So a, a right. So that was a right hand single swing. Okay, we're gonna try our left. It could be that one side is weaker than the other. That's very normal. Um, we also need to remember with these single arm swings that we are automatically gonna want to twist our bodies round. So remember abs. Abs are pivotal in the kettlebell swing. Not very obviously, people often just think you get an arm workout. It's a full body movement. Everything's connected together. So we're gonna use our abs on the opposite side to switch on to keep us facing forward. Okay, let's go with our left hand. So remember, everything stays the same. Hip hinge back, fold into the crease, chest going parallel down to the ground. Reach forward. Sit back into your heels, grip that bell, and off we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, and relax that bell down. Beautiful, okay, so we've got single arm swings locked down. We are now gonna get a little bit fancy and do some hand-to-hand -hand swings. So this movement, it can take a little bit of coordination. <laughs> <laughs> but bear with it, you'll get there. We're gonna change hands at the top of the swing. So Ash is gonna demo for us now. Everything stays the same, apart from you let go of the bell with one hand and pass it over to the other. It's simple, don't overthink it. Ready to go? Hip hinge back and drive. So let's go for four. So one, hand change at the top. Two, three, and four, excellent. Okay, so it's a good idea to have that opposite hand ready to catch that bell, so it can rhythm the bell. Okay guys, so we've got our hand-to-hand -hand swing, we've got our single arm swings, we've got our double-handed swings. We're gonna put that all together into our workout complex, okay? So get yourselves ready if you need to take a break or take a drink of water, go for it, because we're gonna go back to back on this complex. You will need to get your stopwatch and your timer, 
We are going to perform the power plank for 10 breaths down on the ground. That's to get everything fired up and switched on, particularly your glutes ready for the swings. After our power plank, we're going to go into five double-handed swings. From five double-handed swings, we're going to go to five right single arm swings, five left single arm swings, four hand changes. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Rest. Rest for 30 seconds, so that's where your timer comes on. You're going to repeat this five times, okay? So during our workouts at a later stage, we can shorten the rest periods, we can increase the weight, we can increase the reps. For the beginner's level, this is enough just to get a little bit of swing practice in. Okay, guys, are we ready to go? Ash, are we ready? Yeah. So, right down on the ground, we're going to start with our power plank. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Short, sharp breaths at home. And relax. Well done. Up you come. So straight into the swings now. So we're going to go for five double handed swings. So if you keep watching Ash at home, keep swinging with him. So we're going to go for five, four, three, two, one, five single arm swings, four, three, two, one, hand change at the top, five, four, three, two, and hand to hand swings, four, so it's one on each hand, and beautifully done, okay, relax that bell down, we're going to rest, 30 seconds rest, that's one round down, four to go. So you should feel like your heart rate has gone up pretty quickly with these swings. If you're doing these powerful swings, you will get a very short, sharp workout. Okay, that's 15 seconds rest done already. We're ready to go again. Okay, power plank, get your mats ready. We're gonna go for 10 seconds. So I really want you to focus on the squeezing now. Okay, off we go. So glutes switched on hard switched on, pushing down into the mat, you're a solid piece of wood, abs tight, last three, last two, last one and up you come, okay so we're going to go straight into our five double handed swings and when you're ready Ash, off you go, so hip hinge back, we're going to go five, four, three, two and one well done into your five single arm swings five left five right hand change always at the top so keep the breathing rhythmical and you're going into that four changes excellent beautifully done rest that bell down well done nearly there okay 30 seconds rest so get your timer on hand, that's two rounds down, you've got three to go. Okay, so on your rest periods, try not to flop down on the ground, you'll make everything so much harder when you have to get back up again. Just keep the body loose, okay? We're tense in these swings, so we want to loosen everything up. If your hands are getting a little bit tight from the grip, shake your hands through, do a little bit of the mobility from the workout before. Okay, we ready to go? Power plank, round three. Okay guys, 10 breaths, solid on that ground. So push into the mat, keep your abs nice and tight, keep your glutes completely fired up because they're gonna help you with those swings. Once you've done your 10 breaths, up on your toes, straight into our five double-handed swings. Hip hinge back. Remember, we're loading those hamstrings. Push the hips back and fire them forward. In that, up rank, right, up, in that upright plank at the top of the swing. So five single arm swings into five double. Excellent. So we've got those hand-to-hand -hand changes. 
Beautiful. Okay, that's round three done already. So we've got 30 seconds rest. We've got two rounds to go. So you should be feeling this now. If you're doing this properly and you're absolutely powering through those swings, you'll be breathless at the end. If you're really struggling, you're starting to feel your technique go, just take a bit more rest, okay, that's fine. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds rest and we're ready for round four. So keep your feet moving, relax the body in between. And off we go. 10 breath power plank. Off we go, pushing into that mat, tension, squeeze, tightness, activating the muscles. So visualize all those muscles switching on. Excellent, okay. Double-handed swing, five reps. Hip hinge back, load the hamstring, and off we go, let's drive up. So five, four, three, two, one, single arms for five, four, three, two. And then the next set, single arms, four, three, two. Hand to hand changes just for four, three, two. And last one, relax that bell down. Well done, we are nearly there. We've got 30 seconds rest. I think Ash is feeling it now. <laughs> We're gonna go into that final fifth set. Okay, as I say, beginner's level, take as much rest as you need. I've set 30 seconds just as a cue. If you need to take a little bit more rest, at this stage, we're just focusing on technique. That's why I've kept the repetitions short. We're getting that technique locked down. We're moving on now into round five. We're ready to go. So we're going into that power plank. Okay, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, all you've got, last breath. Okay, up we come straight into five double-handed swings. I want you to really think now about the glutes, hamstrings powering through. So think about pushing that chest down to the ground. Lock your shoulders in place. So squeeze all the muscles on your back. We've got five single arms. Hand change at the top, five single arms. And then finally, we've got the hand-to-hand -hand change for four. And place that bell down very, very gently. Well done. <laughs> so you have now completed, keep the feet moving, your first beginner's level kettlebell warrior workout. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you all in session two. Well done.